Singaporeans are such avid travellers. They've outdone themselves once again by spending a record high on holidays at the recently concluded Nautas Travel Fair. There has been a huge improvement. Uh, we estimate the sales will be around 90 million this time. Uh, if you compare it with the first show in uh, February, it was about 63 million. So there's been quite a huge uh, increase. One of the reasons is because uh, a lot of people are buying Europe. So it's high ticket item. This new high also beats the previous record of $85 million spent at the biannual Natas Fair in August 2010. And with a favourable currency exchange rate now standing at 1 euro to 1.75 Sing dollars, Europe is certainly too tempting to resist. It's one of Singaporeans' top five holiday destinations alongside Japan, South Korea, Taiwan and China. And it's the same five countries that scored with Singaporeans during the last Natas Fair last August. This time, some travellers also snap up more than one tour package at the Natas Fair. These retirees, for instance, will be travelling to China and South Africa in the next few Months. On the flip side, New Zealand has experienced a dip in take up rate for its South Island tour packages, although free and easy packages are still selling well. Not a surprise, given that its main South Island city, Christchurch, was rocked by two earthquakes in less than six months. I think the impact is quite significant because Christchurch, the city itself, uh, is actually cordoned off for about two weeks uh, because primarily um, there's no uh, water supply, there's no power supply and the hotels are not operating. But however, we are still seeing some free and easy customers because they can fly into Auckland, you see. Um, you know, they don't have to really just uh, visit Christchurch. Another big player, Chan Brothers, also said, although it had to cancel two tours to New Zealand this March due to the earthquakes, its free and easy packages to both the North and South Island are still selling well. New Zealand is very big. There's still North Island. And even if you're talking about South Island, you don't necessarily have to fly in via Christchurch. You can also choose to fly in via Queenstown, which is another international gateway to the South Island. With the recent spate of political unrest sweeping across the Arab world, tour packages to Egypt have also seen a temporary decline in demand. With the political turmoil, uh, it will take some time for recovery. We anticipate that it will probably recover um, you know, from let's say, April onwards. Leisure travellers tend to be a bit forgetful. Mr. Adele al Masri from the Egyptian Tourism Office also reassured Singaporeans that most of the attractions in Cairo remain accessible to tourists. It's not exactly destroyed. In fact, now most of the museum is open and the situation is stable. And uh, of course, all what happened in Egypt, which of course it's positive, but at the same time, it is not. Uh, it was not against the tourists in, in Egypt. It's only the people they need some change. So we live now in Egypt in with new experience. I would like to, uh, to invite it all the Singaporean uh, people to come to visit uh, the new Egypt. But if you are undecided, check out our other clips for other travel ideas. North Korea or Brazil? Anyone?